So are you ever on a sales call and everything is going well and all of a sudden your prospect has an objection and you get that feeling in the pit of your stomach where you're like, oh no, what do I do? What do I say? So in this video, we're going to talk about overcoming objections so we can close the sale. So this is part five of the five part science of selling series. So now we're ready to close the sale. We want to get the deals. That's the whole point of making all of these videos isn't it? So I'm excited to share this with you. So when we're closing the sale, of course, we want to have the attitude that we're assuming the sale, the whole sales call, the whole way through. We want to assume that the client is going to buy from us. So we can have that attitude and we need to actually ask for the sale. Have you ever been in a sales call? I know I have. And we're hearing all this great information, all these awesome benefits. They're saying all of our keywords. And then at the end, we're like, Hey, how can I buy this thing? Hello, are you going to tell me? So make sure you actually ask for the sale. Now, before we ask for the sale, we want to, you know, listen for any objections. So there's really only four objections that can come up. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough money. I don't believe you or this works for everyone else, but I don't think it's going to work for me. So when we get an objection before just spewing all this information out and pressuring them into the sale and immediately wanting to overcome it, we need to listen. We need to fully listen to the objection to really see like, well, what are they saying? Is there deeper meaning to this? And really before we even try to respond, we can just ignore the objection the first time it comes up. So if they say, I don't have enough time, just keep going on with your call. And then if they bring it again, then you can respond. But listen and maybe ask a few questions first to clarify why or how they want to overcome this objection. So fully listen, then respond. And when you fully listen, this is going to build trust. This is going to show compassion. Because when you build trust, the prospect's not just going to think like, hey, they're immediately trying to pressure me into the sale. No, they're going to think like, oh, they're actually listening to what I have to say. They're listening to my concern and now we're working together to overcome this. So follow this process. And when they have an objection, you can even say something like, is that the only reason that you're not buying? You can kind of act surprised like, hey, you said you saw value in this a few moments ago when we were, you know, asking some questions. And is this really the only reason you're not buying? So you can kind of act surprised and ask uh, this question. Now, the first two objections, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough money. Well, this is exactly why your prospect needs your product. So you can use some different uh, reframes and I went over those in a, another video, how to kind of stretch the context, put their behavior in a different context, showing you know, that they do need your product, change their thinking. Now, the other ones, I don't believe you. So this is something internal. So we need to take words, key words that they brought up. We should, all be we should always be taking notes during a sales call. Bring up key words showing the benefits. So what's really, really important to them? If you ask us enough questions, you figured this out. So you know what to say at this point. Bring up some keywords and show that this really should matter to them so that they can believe you. So what's important to them can be achieved. The next one, where they think it works for everyone else, but not for them, this is where we can have things like testimonials. So we can have video testimonials of past clients. We can offer different use cases that are similar to them. Hey, look, I worked with this company last year. This is how they used it, just like you said you wanted to earlier, and look at their results now. You can have past clients where they can call them and say, hey, you know, did you use this product or service? What was your um, experience? What are your results? You know, or you can just have written testimonials on your site or show awards that your company um, received. So this is the way that you really overcome objections. You need to listen. You don't need to respond right away. Wait for them to bring it up again before you even respond, but really listen, ask some questions, find out if that's their real objection, or it may just be a smoke screen. So really find that out before you respond and think, what can I say? to really over overcome the objection for this person specifically. Don't say it as if you were telling everyone that you've ever worked with, this person specifically. So gear the objection toward their keywords, towards what they want, what goal they want. And they should have told you all this information earlier in the call. So this is how we overcome objections and how we can really close 
the sale. So thanks for listening. I'm going to be making some more videos um, on sales. Um, some are going to be relating to uh, selling directly to the unconscious mind and how to kind of overcome some pressure and really control that state you're in. So we want to go into a sales call comfortable and confident in control. So I'm going to talk about that as well. So if you ever have any questions, definitely comment below, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you like these uh, videos and you want to learn more about what we offer here, go ahead and email me. My information will be at the end of the video, how you can get in touch with me, and you can join one of our NLP uh, sales trainings. So thanks for watching the Science of Selling series, and I appreciate all of you.